Continuing our coverage now on the water crisis in Flint, where people say they're not surprised what the EPA has to say about what they've been drinking. As we have been reporting, the agency says three things are chiefly responsible for Flint's water problems. The service lines are made of lead. There was no corrosion control. And disruptions to service lines actually dislodged the protective coating that protected the water from lead. TV 5's Ronnie Duncan now with the latest. I wasn't surprised. Um, What's the word I can use? Just, uh, just glad that they didn't brought it out to the open. Arthur Woodson is one of many demonstrators that call for the Environmental Protection Agency to look into the Flint lead water problem. Wednesday, in a detailed report, the EPA laid out its findings on Flint's water problems. It found increased levels of lead in this area off Hemp Hill near Bryant Street. Susan Hetman is the EPA's administrator for this region. The, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency is very concerned about levels, lead levels in drinking water in Flint. The EPA report is serious business, and it is not fun and games, because on this playground right across the street are some of the highest water lead levels found in Flint. Well, we've always drunk bottled water, so that wasn't too big of a concern, but I do have to bathe my children in it, and I just had a baby. Pete Hall only uses his water this way as he washes his car in this spring-like November day as his grandson looks on, and he's only one years old. However, that's the closest he'll let this little one get to the water. I'm more scared for the kids drinking it than I am, you know. Because kids, you know, they when they get thirsty, they're going to drink the first thing available. Melissa, does it disturb you that no officials have even knocked on your door to tell you about the warning of these high lead levels? Yes. Well, it doesn't seem like they're very concerned then. Neighbors say there's no good news in sight regarding the water woes of Flint, and they want to be tested. In Flint, Ronnie Duncan, WNEM-TV5.